Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. My name is Veda and this is The Simple Budget. Here on my channel I show you how my family is using the zero-based budgeting method in order to get out of debt and simplify our financial life. If that sounds like content that you're interested in, I would love it if you would hit the subscribe button and join our little crew here. And with that being said, let's get into today's video. everyone and happy Monday. I hope that your weekend was a good one, a relaxing one. Um, the last big weekend before Halloween, so this week's going to be super fun. All the kids in the neighborhood hopped up on sugar, I'm sure. Um, as you're watching this, I'm actually away enjoying a little bit of alone time, a little respite, if you will, a little peace and quiet. Must be nice. <laughs> <laughs> this from the man who gets to go on business trips. When was the last time I went on? A while ago. I don't know, but you have an olymp uh, an olympty, an empty hotel room. I don't know where my brain is right now. My brain is all over the place is what it is. Mm. Anyways, um today is the it's just a regular cash stuffing. Um I'm gonna be stuffing nine hundred and seventy three dollars, I think. Are you very entertained by that? That makes sense to me. Our yeah. neighbor our neighbor is outside the window really struggling to turn his car around because the road is so muddy because of all the rain that we've had. Because I mentioned to you guys in my last weekly check-in that um, Texas has no middle ground, that it's either an absolute drought or monsoon season. And so monsoon's, monsoon season has brought a lot of dirt on the road next to our house. And one of our neighbors is really struggling to three-point turn his way back in front of his house. Anyway... We're cash stuffing $973 today. I'm going to go ahead and give it a count, and then we will chat about some logistical things. So here we go. I'm already throwing cash all over the place. <clears throat> all right, here we go. 1, 2, 3, 400, 50, 500, 50, 600, 50, 70, 90, 710, 730, 50, 70, 80, 90, uh, 800, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 5, 900, 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, and 973. It's pretty flawless. Thank you. I've been practicing. Actually, that's not true, but today I did have to take all the cash out of the registers at work to prep for the bank deposit. And so I I counted like, you know, thousands of dollars. And so 973 is not really much by comparison. So anyways, um, before I get into the typical stuff here. Um, I'm going to be announcing the 5k giveaway at the end of this video. And that is not to be snotty so that I get views and things. It's mostly because my husband and I are filming this later than we usually do. And I want to make sure that we have natural daylight for the portion of this video where you actually need to see the things. And then I'm going to go ahead and announce the giveaway winners and all that's required to enter and stuff at the end of this video. And by the way, just another thank you again for 5,000 subscribers. So, so excited. Cannot believe I reached that goal. It's good stuff. Mm -hmm. Anyways, so first up, as per usual, I'm going to be dipping into my wallet. I've got a lot of receipts to scan into my receipt cashback apps. If you are unfamiliar with them, I have all of my referrals for them linked below. The ones that I use predominantly are Fetch and Receipt Hog. And basically what you do is you put, you take pictures of your receipts, upload them into the apps, and those receipts will accrue you points. And then those points add up and you can trade them in for either cashback or gift cards. And it's kind of just a really cool way of getting a reward for something that you're doing anyway. So those like I said, that info is linked below. If you use my referral code, I get bonus points, but you do too. And then we had just a touch of grocery rollover this week, $7. Ooh. Two of which I will be stealing for the dollar savings mm. challenge. You know how I do. You're welcome. 
I mean, it's $2, like, you're gonna be okay. And then just a little bit of change. Actually, that's, that's a decent amount. Yeah. I got no change outside of work this week when I opened up. <laughs> You didn't find any quarters. No, I was out. really bummed that more drunk people didn't drop their, drop their money this week. That's okay. There's always next week. Yeah, that's true. Good stuff, though. This is going to be so fun. I'm actually excited for the Q&A in, in January mm -hmm. when we roll this change together and everybody gets to ask you questions because we all know that you're the man of the hour here. Mm -hmm. Although for that one person who is not pleased that you're in my videos. Well, you know. You can't make everybody happy, right? Yeah. Anyways, so first step, we're going to go ahead and go into our high priority sinking funds. And sorry, we had to deal with an administrative issue with the balance master. Anyways, first step is groceries. There was key information that was not relayed. <clears throat> yeah, that was sort of my fault. So it's getting 425 this week. And I had a question in my comments this past week about our grocery budget. It was actually in the budget with me. And I don't know if that person is watching because she's like, I don't understand. Like, she's like, we buy grass fed and pasture raised and organic and all of that. How is your grocery bill that high? It's not so much about quality. It is about quality because I do focus my efforts on quality. Um, it's also about quantity. Kids. Yeah, so I'm just going to give you guys a little breakdown. We're going to take a little detour from our usual, from our regularly scheduled programming. I know, Mr. Simple is pointing the fact that we are running out of daylight, but I'm going to go over this with you guys really briefly so that you can understand what why our grocery bill is the way that it is. First of all, the milk that we buy for my daughter who drinks, we just buy a gallon a week, but it's like $6 and change for a half of a gallon because we buy this very specific milk that's A2A2, and it's the, it's the particular kind of enzyme that is much easier for the human body to digest. So even folks we who are- We get scammed on milk. We do not get scammed on milk. Um, and we wanna make sure that my daughter's gut health in particular is good, and um, milk is good for you for a variety of reasons, but also you wanna make sure that you're drinking milk that is not mean to your body. And so the A2A2 kind, um, I've only ever seen it at Whole Foods. It's kind of similar to raw milk, um, which I would buy, and I'm not sure what Texas's laws are regarding raw milk, but regardless, this works for us for now. In addition to that, um, just my husband and children go through a dozen eggs a day. Every single morning, I make them a dozen eggs for breakfast. My husband, in addition to his six eggs, because he has six and my kids split six, he has um, sausages and a bagel, my kids usually have a yogurt smoothie. Um, I make their lunches from home every single day. Don't forget coffee. Don't forget coffee. The most important meal of the day. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely um, not a drug. Yeah, definitely not. Um, I make my kids lunches every single day from home. And that varies between, you know, even just like a simple peanut butter sandwich. A lot of times I will cook up a bunch of chicken thighs Um so actually so that my husband and kids can have them in their lunches. My husband puts them on top of um, salads, but my kids just have just the chicken and veggies and fruit and then like a couple snacks with just their lunch. And I think the average person eats between six to eight ounces of meat like at a meal, like if you sat somebody down at a meal. But our kid, eight ounces of meat? Yeah. No. That's what they say for catering. Eight ounces of meat, really. Six to eight ounces of oh, meat. Oh, right. well, there you go. And my kids, I think, probably eat more than that at a meal. Definitely more than eight ounces. Hmm. So, and then, of course, you know, there's me. I just eat meat, but it adds up. I mean, it really is. It's the sheer quantity of food that we buy that makes it so expensive. So I promise you, I'm not overbuying our fridge. We lovingly refer to our fridge every Monday when I am about to go grocery shopping as a frat boy fridge because it's so empty because we literally consume just about everything we buy on a weekly basis. And it just is what it is. So it, I mean, it's quality and it's quantity. It's both, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Anyways, now that I've taken you on that road, of the simple grocery trip. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add in the $5. Oh, I never even, I didn't grab the 25. Um, and then I'll grab the $5 of rollover 
And so now in groceries, we have one, two, three, 54, 25, 30. So $430 in groceries. I don't think we'll take any more detours today, but you never know, it is me. I do love a moment to be chatty. I always got those comments on my report cards when I was growing up. Does well in class, talks a lot. Chatty Kathy. Chatty Kathy. Next up is taxes, and it's getting $10 this week. Oopsies. And now in taxes, we have 1,000 in the bank, and then 10, 25, 30. 1,030 in taxes, in case you missed that. Thank you, I got that. I do know how you love to be the balance master, mm -hmm. and all. Listen, somebody's gotta keep this ship going. Right I know, sure. although uh, the people caught an error in our last cash stuffing. No error. There was an error. We'll find it. I forget what what envelope it was in, but anyway. Medical is up next. It's getting $60 this week. We had a little bit of overage in pay, and so we were like, let's put it toward medical because we needed that. So now in medical, we have 50, 60, 70, 85, 95, 100, 1, and 2. Did we spend $10 on something? Yes. Remember? On, the, on that honey. That's right. What did I say? 102? Did you... Re we haven't gone over that. Did you buy that cash? Oh, yes. I just took 10 out of okay. medical and yeah. put it into grocery. That's fine. Yeah, it wasn't a debit purchase. Oh, okay. It was a cash purchase. Car expenses is up next. And the relief mm -hmm. of the people for you going to get that oil change was mm -hmm. comical. I was cracking up. Oh, I love you guys. I love you guys in the comments so much. It's so funny. All right. So now in car expenses, we have 100, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 85, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 201. All right. More administrative things. Next up is home maintenance. It's getting $15 this week. And now in home maintenance, we have 50, 60, 70, 80, 95, 100, 1, 2, and 3. 103 in home maintenance. Household is up next. It's getting 20. I did a 10, 5, and because I cannot help myself, five ones. One, two, three, four, five. So now in household, we have 10, 25, 35, 45, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, and 62. Mm -hmm. Are you showing that? Yep. Where did it go? There it is. 62. Toiletries is up next. It's also getting 20. Oh. Oh my gosh. 10. Oops. 5. And again, 5 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, and 32. Did you spend from toiletries? I did, but I think it was another situation where I grabbed cash and moved it over to grocery because I paid with grocery. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. What did I say, 32? Yep. All right. Clothes is up next. It's getting 25. Oh, I have to pop and get her clothes out of the mail. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, now in clothes, we have 20, 40, 65, 75, 85, 86, 87, and 88. But I tell you what, these envelopes could use a condensing. Mm -hmm. All right, finance coach is being skipped this week. Oh, that's right, it was being skipped for the month of, month of October, wasn't it? Yep, yeah, we're, we're full up on that. Right, 65 is what we have in there. When does that get pulled? I think November 1st. Oh, okay, fair enough. 
Um, HOA is getting $5. So this is the very outer edge of our yard. And this is the pumpkin. I mean, it has completely taken over our front garden, as you can see. But... Pumpkin. We have these guys. He's still attached to the vine, so I don't want to detach him, but I thought you guys would like to see. I mean, there are so many of them at this point, and they're all kind of just hiding out in the plant itself, but you can see why I did not want to pull this out of the front garden. Look at him. Some little guys here. So, from an HOA standpoint, this is certainly not the ideal front garden. But, to make my kiddos happy and other neighborhood kiddos, it is. And now in HOA, we have 125, 35, and 140. I'll tell you what, it's almost like this could use a condensing. <laughs> like, I didn't think it needed it, but mm -hmm. suddenly I'm like, geez, these feel beefy. What did I just say? 140. I'm really on one. Uh, Union dues is being skipped, and I think it's got $2 in it, which I so badly want to steal, but it does. It's got $2. You need that for next year. Yeah. <laughs> and our emergency fund is currently full at $1,000. And then next up, we're going right in to low priority sinking funds. And dine out is up first. Oh, dine out's being skipped. That's okay, it's full. It's got 20, 40, 60, one, two, and three. Yep. You showing that? Yep. Oh, good. Look at us matching. Uh, work food is getting $10. And it's got 10, so now it's got 20. That's nice. I might get me a coffee or something. <laughs> hey. What, you mean money is not there to be You're spent? Not at work. <laughs> uh, next up is haircuts. It's getting $20. When's your next haircut? Uh, sometime in November. Oh, okay. Um, I'm telling you what, his barber is harder to get like nailed down than, I don't know. Yeah. Like a really famous one or something. Yeah. Anyway. Um, haircuts now has 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 175, 76, 77, 78, and 79. So 179. I really need to find somebody for our girl. Mm-hmm. Oop. Home decor is getting three dollars, and I was what like, is that three? "Because I'm irritated at that." <laughs> because last week I spent seven and I had five in here, so it got two less than what it was supposed to get this week. So three dollars. That I'm gonna have to fix that because I can just this is the number's bad enough. I can't leave it. So you have three dollars in there right now. Yeah, I sure do. Okay. Are you not showing that? No, I am. Oh, okay. I was like, we just went over this. All right. Dates is up next. It's getting 15. Wahoo. We're going to be able to go on our date in December. You know, a month and a half away. I know. Actually, it's not a month and a half. It's like a month and anyway. I, I can't do math. It's too hard. I've already counted like three times today, so... Mm -hmm. We can't push it too far. Dates now has 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 55, 65, 66, 67, and 168. Nice. That is nice. Mm -hmm. So 168 and dates. That rhymes. I'm sorry, I couldn't let the time go by without saying that. You have to acknowledge when something rhymes. His is up next. And Mr. Moneybags over here is getting 15 this week. Yeah, you do. <laughs> He's got 500 in the bank 
and then 50, 70, 80, 90, 100, 5, and 10. So you've got 610. Nice. The people have confidence in my ability to flirt some of that money away from you. <laughs> I wish you guys could have just seen his face. There is no way. Satan has a better chance of getting his way back into heaven than I do getting the money out of here. <laughs> what did I say? 610? Oh, uh, that's funny. Yep. Yep. I think Satan has more favor with the Lord than I do with getting money out of that envelope. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm all my hair blaspheming, but for good cause. I'm up next. I'm getting 71. Don't look confuzzled because we've got all of the math to do after I come back from my trip. Okay. Although according to the people currently, I'm on my trip, but you know. Anyways, now in my envelope, we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 50, 60, 70, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90, 1 and 2. So 192. Mm, da -da -da. All right. That was a chunky envelope. Pretty hair is up next. It's getting $9. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25, and now in pretty hair, I have 10, 15, 25, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, and 52. Oh, that's so nice. And I told you my next haircut's on my birthday. Wait, so you said 52 for pretty hair. Mm -hmm. And how much for yours? 192. And then my lash lift is up next, and it's just getting two. And so now it has four. So add that to your... Add that to my calculations. To your math. For those of you who don't know, my husband actually doesn't... Um, these, all three of these, hers, pretty hair, and lash lift are all just under my name in his spreadsheet, like for a category. I'm the one who breaks them down for my own personal use, but he keeps them all together. So he just waits to add them up and put in his spreadsheet, which is, you know, like a work of art. Um, next up is family fun. It's getting $10. And now in family fun, we have 10, 20, 35, and 36. House project is getting 173 this week. And before you comment me over this number, it was a more round number this week, but we got an item returned to us. Uh, or we, I'm sorry, we returned an item that we purchased that just didn't fit in our house. And so that money was returned to us. And so that's why the number ended up being wonky. And I was like, when I was writing this out this week, I was like, I know I'm going to get crap for this, but I didn't, this was not of my doing. So. It's getting 173, so 150, 70, 1, 2, and 3. And it wasn't really like a house project item, but it was it was a new hamper. But it was way too, it was like comically small. So we returned it. So maybe we'll get another new hamper, maybe we won't. But either way, now this is all going toward our screen doors. Screen right. doors. Um, okay, so now in House Project, we have 150, 200, 50, 70, 90, 310, 315, 25, 26, 27, 28, and 29. Nice. So 329 in House Project. That's so happy. Mm -hmm. 329. And then that is that for our low priority sinking funds. Whoops. And last up for the day, holiday sinking funds. Hello. Hello. First up, gifts is getting $20. Whoopsies. There we go. 20. And so now we have 50, 70, 90, 1, 2, 3, and 94 in gifts. Parte is being skipped, that poor baby. 
So is Valentine's it's Day. Broke. It's broke. Valentine's Day has 20, 45, 50, 1, and 2. Mm -hmm. Got to give you that balance. Easter also being skipped, but I know you're going to want to count. 20, 45, 46, 47, 48, and 49. And Easter. Oh, poor vacation. Also being skipped. School, back to school, is getting $10 this week. Oh, not 20, just 10. And now in back to school, we have 50, 60, 70, 80, 95, 96. I wonder where that one came from. 96. Halloween is getting $12. This is not for this Halloween. This is to start the funding for next Halloween. Isn't that fun? It is kind of fun, actually. I know. So now on Halloween, we have 20, 30, 40, 1, 2, and 3. Yeah. We did just get pumpkins, so eventually that will show up in the next weekly check-in. Mm, we and this, voodoo, we are going to have to do some voodoo, but that's okay. Oh, what did I just say? 43. Thanks. <laughs> Um, Thanksgiving is being skipped, and I think it has 200, right? Yep. 150, 70, 80, 95, 200. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then next month, it'll start getting stuffed for next Thanksgiving. Isn't that so fun? That's crazy. I know. Anyway, Christmas is also being skipped, and um, it's because we spent... We bought our Nutcracker tickets this past week, and so we took some of the money out of here to return to the bank, but then also just didn't stuff it this week mm -hmm. to kind of make up for all of that. So um, in Christmas now, we have 2000 in the bank, 25 26 27 28 and 29 So 2029 All right. Oops. That's, that's not okay. There we go. Uh, the zoo is last up for a stuffing today. It's getting eight dollars. So five, six, seven, eight. Whoops. And now in the zoo, we have a 100, 10, 15, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 128. Nice. Yeah. That's almost, that's more than half. It's like three quarters of the way there, right? Mm -hmm. 128. That's so exciting. Uh, the pool is being skipped this week, but I'm no fool. 100, 20, 30, 40, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, and 160. And that's not halfway there. <laughs> that thing is expensive. Mm. Last up, we are going to grab our ones for the $1, I don't know why I pulled that out, for the $1 savings challenge. I still have not added these to my shop, but I will because enough of you expressed interest in it that I thought maybe it would be one of those things that people enjoyed. So we're, we don't count this until the end of like the quarter or something. So we'll probably count this one at the end of the year. But for the time being, we just added $2. All right, so now that we have made it to the end of the cash stuffing, I am going to go ahead and go over with you guys all of the details for the 5K giveaway. Okay, so here we go. Um, first of all, I mean, I know I already said it at the beginning of this video, but I can't not say thank you again for helping me reach 5,000 subscribers, each and every one of you. I'm so grateful for, um, and it just means so much to me that you hit subscribe on my channel and continue to come back and watch my videos. It's wonderful. So thank you for that. Um, this giveaway is going to be good through so it's going to be good from now when you're watching this um through November 10th of 2023 so you guys are going to essentially have two like business weeks to um enter this giveaway and I'm going to announce it in Monday November 13th um cash stuffing video so that being out of the way there are three tiers of winners 
if you will. The number one winner is going to win for me a $50 gift card. You will get two binders with dashboards and six envelopes from my shop. And then $10 off of a future shop purchase um, from the Simple Budget Etsy shop. And then I'm just going to throw a couple like little goodies and things in there that make me smile um, or favorites of mine um, and things that I want to gift to the winner as a thank you. So that's the, that's the number one winner. Then my second tier of winners will include three winners. That first tier is just for one person. But the second tier, I'm gonna choose three winners and you will each get a binder with a dashboard and six envelopes from me and also $10 off of a future uh, Etsy shop purchase of mine. I'm sorry, Etsy shop of mine. My Etsy shop. Oh my gosh, English is so hard. Um, yeah, you'll get basically like a $10 gift card at my Etsy shop in addition to the binder, the budget binder, it's gonna look like this. Um, and a, with a dashboard of your choosing from my shop and six envelopes, any categories of your choice, it's all customizable. And then my tier three winners, there will be five of you and you're each going to get a $10 gift card to my shop. So that's it, those are the three tiers, if you will. And then all I want you to do in order to be qualified to win is to be publicly subscribed to my channel and go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Um, I wanna know when you started following me and then just use the um, hashtag 5K giveaway. I'm gonna put it up on the screen so that you um, will know like what hashtag to use. So publicly subscribed, Leave me a comment down below telling me how long you've been following me. If you can remember like the month, that would be really cool. And then also 5K, the hashtag 5K giveaway. So um, best of luck to all of you. Again, I wish that I could give all of you all of the things, um, but you know, I'm trying to pay down debt. So <laughs> um, anyways, thank you guys so, so much for tuning in to today's video. Thank you for 5,000 subscribers again. If you enjoyed today's video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. I mean, I know that we're leaving a comment on this video for like the giveaway stuff, but just come say hi. I love chatting with you guys. And then if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, certainly now is the perfect time to do so. And I would appreciate it if you did. And I'm actually going to see you guys on Wednesday for my Etsy and YouTube cash stuffings, which is always a fun one for me because it's a little niche video that I'm able to make once a month where I can say thank you again for all of your support on my channel and in my Etsy shop. So I'm looking forward to that one. I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you on Wednesday. Bye everyone. Mm -hmm.